Welcome to the uh, April edition of the Cannon Chamber Connection, and we are so proud to be here today. Um, of course, this show is made possible by DTC3, and um, they're giving you something new, too. You're going to be able to see us in HD because they have converted as of April, right? I believe it is. To HD TV, so you're going to be able to see every flaw. We every have. we're going to look so much better. Right That's what it means is we're going to look so much better. <laughs> we're going to have to start getting a makeup department and everything. <laughs> and That's why I'm Carolyn is. Motley, and I'm with the Cannon County Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Connie Rigsby, <laughs> and I am also with the chamber and the senior center. And we welcome you to April. Spring is here. Maybe. Well, they keep telling me that. Well, that's what I was going to say. My toes are freezing. <laughs> I have been pushing the weather with flip flops and sandals, and I, I had my heater going under my desk. That's, <laughs> <laughs> so, one way or the other, it's going to be spring. The fires get smaller, don't they? they but no, Saturday and Sunday, supposed to be up in the 70s. Of course, we have that. Stone River Relay, they'll be really proud to hear that because that's better than running in the rain. It so. is better than running in the rain, and of course they're going to get in the river, and so uh, the water has been up. We've had a lot of rain here lately, so should be anybody out there that's wanting to get into the relay, water is fun. So I know last year that was one of the Just little difficult things that they had, but uh, so, you know, Get your application in, get ready for the relay. Yeah, because that's this weekend. And so I did get to see the uh, the paddle that's being given away this year. Oh, it's it beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, I wouldn't be the winner anyway. I would have to buy one of those paddles to be able to have one in my house. But Because well, I, I definitely I wouldn't, wouldn't win coming off the mountain. No, I would want the boat or whatever to go with it. But I, just, I don't know what I'd do I without the paddle. <laughs> Pretty it bad. is pretty. Somebody made that. It's made out of, was it cedar? Uh, or I'm oak not for sure. Or, I'm not sure, but it is, take our word for it, it's really pretty. I think we showed it to you last month, but yeah. it's still there and somebody's going to win it. So, But we have dozens of other things. Oh, golly. We have a lot of things going on. It's like um, April kicks off everything. And, and April just and May are just, I I don't know if you can go to all the things we're going to have in April and May, but you we do have two ladies here today, and um, they are be, will be heading up one of the um, events that is coming up. We have Lisa Baird with our SAFE program, and Mindy Gunner, who is on the board for the SAFE program. And um, Lisa, we'll start with you. You want to explain to us what SAFE is to begin with? Well, first off, I'd like to thank y'all for letting us come today and talk about Safe Fest. Uh -huh. um, Safe Fest is an annual thing we kind of try to do to uh, promote awareness about domestic violence, but also it's a fundraiser for our agency. Uh, we are the only agency of its kind here in Cannon County, and we take care of all the domestic violence issues here in Cannon. But Safe Fest right now is set for May the 4th, and it'll be from nine, I'm sorry, 10 till 9 in the evening, 10 a.m. in the morning till 9 in the evening. We've got some great music lined up. Um, Lance Chandler, the Black Collar Outlaw, he's going to be there. Jerby, um, 61 Seconds. These are all some of our local guys and bands. Um, and um, Plainview Baptist um, Worship Group is going to be there. But one artist I'd like to talk about, and particularly I'm kind of excited about having, his name is Jesse Whitley. He's the son of the late, great Keith Whitley, if everybody remembers him. He was a really good artist back several years ago. Um, his son is now in the business and has some uh, records out, some albums out, and has graciously came, uh, agreed to come and do a um, acoustic version of some of his songs, and I think some of his dad's old songs. And uh, he's also going to do a meet and greet. Uh, but we've got a lot of other things lined up. We're, we're going to have um, a cakewalk and a free throw uh, competition for all the basketball enthusiastics, and I'm going to let Mindy kind of talk about all those, and, uh, and we're going to have an auction. We've got some wonderful auction items that'll be coming up. But if Mindy, you want to talk about those? Okay. We're going to be having two sessions of uh, auctions going on, and we hope to have some good items for that. So y'all come out. We're going to do that more in the evening part. Um, but Is this silent auction or live auction? Live auction. Live auction. It'll be a live auction. 
Um, and we're also going to have your, different categories in the free throw shooting. So we'll have like a children's age group and adults. And I think we're going to have a pretty good cash prize for that. So um, You should be, have a lot of folks from around yeah, here. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> be looking in the paper for that as well. We're going to have that listed. Um, and then like she said, we're going to have the cakewalk. So we know we got lots of good cooks around here. <laughs> so we'll have plenty of goodies for you to have a chance to win. So mm -hmm. a lot of things for... Everybody, different age groups. So, are you okay. accepting vendors? Yes, because we're accepting. I have had some calls about that. Yes, we definitely are accepting vendors. Uh, non-food item, if it's a non-food booth, is fifty dollars, and anything food-wise would be a hundred dollars. Um, and we are accepting applications. Um, and if you want to give us a call, you can either call the office, which is five six three six six nine zero, or you can call uh, Bob and Jean France. They're kind of spearheading the the vendor part of it. Um, because they've had a lot of experience dealing with that. And what was their names again? Bob and Jean France, and their number is 615-464-5741. And you can call, like I said, either the office or their, their number, and you'll be able to have somebody help you with if you want to be, you know, become a vendor at the event. We're looking for a really good crowd. Um, we've got some people I already know that have been contacted around the Nashville area because of uh, who I will be here music-wise, and they're planning on coming. and. We're going to have some auction items actually from the Nashville area as well as here in Cannon, which will be really neat. Um, we're also going to have uh, some things for the kids. We're going to have face painting and um, we're going to have uh, the cornhole, if everybody remembers how to play cornhole. Well, we're going to have a cornhole tournament. Also, uh, uh, Mark uh, Vance, our, oh, he is our wildlife. Tennessee wildlife. Tennessee yeah. wildlife. Thank you. <laughs> it was just there. <laughs> Wonderful man. He's going to have some uh, displays set out for the young kids and even adults that are interested in some of the wildlife things that he's got, uh, came in contact with here in Cannon County and kind of educate us on that. And we're working on some other things, and I think uh, we're even going to try and have some blood pressure checks and things. Um, for some of the elderly that if they're interested in getting their blood pressure checks. In other words, when you go look at the snakes afterwards, you can go get yeah. <laughs> blood pressure checks. Because I'm sure it's going to be sky high. It's not mine. And if we have anybody that's in dire straits, you know the EMS is real close by, so we can always <laughs> have them come and perform CPR, first aid, whatever. Well, that would be something good for everybody to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're going to have a really good um, turnout this year. We've got a lot of things going on. Uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. And of course, a good day. everything is weather related mm -hmm. like this. So, and especially when it's a one day event. Mm -hmm. And I hope that uh, that works out well for you because, boy, it could sure, it could sure rain, rain on your parade. In <laughs> <laughs> well, lately it has been raining a lot, but hopefully the good Lord's going to let it be real pretty and sunny because I'm like Connie, I'm, I'm ready for spring. I'm tired of winter. I, I'm, you know, it's walking it's season and time to get out and have fun. Well, we have several places you can walk to. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular over here at the, at the park across from the, the jail. I've seen you over there. I have. I'm up to three miles a day. I, I'm going I'm to make five. Oh, I'm impressed. Thank three you. miles a day. You need to get on the walk across. Can we go to the park across to the sea? Yeah, you need to be on a team. I'm already on a team. We got it. Uh, Miss Penny Daniels, our veteran service officer, and, and Dorinda Bacon and, and Rachel, all them from election office, and, and there's one other lady and myself. We're on a team, and we're going to win this year. So we're excited. What's the name of your team? Walking Wonders. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful <laughs> walk. Hey, we'll make it. We're, we're doing good because we're all well, on the health sounds like you and I, all the I started Wake Archers and I've got everybody else involved and, and they got we're all in walking and we're gonna yeah, we're gonna be the healthiest people in, in, in our building. <laughs> Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Yes. <laughs> well, is there anything else you need to talk to us about? Well, I think that's about, I mean, if anybody's got any auction items they'd like to donate, it's for Rockstead for a really good cause. It's all for the SAVE program, or if you're interested in becoming a, a vendor or you need more information about the um, agency or about the event, just give us a call at 563-6690. Or um, we can also use If you want to make a cake. If you want to make a cake. <laughs> and, 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 you know, this is also all of these events are, are just like it used to be in the old days when you'd come to town and listen to the music and cakewalks and everything. That was going on when I was young. 
People did bake them. They had ovens and everything. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's still fun. They just don't know how to use them now. <laughs> and it's fun to watch the little kids up there on stage with their little case and hope and pray they don't drop them and fall on their faces. <laughs> Oh, but, oh, if it, you want to bring the okay. crowd, you got to bring the kids. Oh, because yeah. Because the grandpas and the grandmas and the moms and dads are mm -hmm. going to come watch them. And we need kids for the cakewalk, so, you know, that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> You're not going to let adults in on that? Oh, you can get in, too. It's just fun when you see little kids up there. They, they have a ball. Sometimes the cakes are bigger than they are, and, you know. Yeah. But adults are welcome to do the cakewalk as well, so, you know. Okay. Just, I think Mindy okay. and Jessica Tucker are going to spearhead the cakewalk for us. Well, we wish Just, both of you a lot of luck on that. So, Well, thank you. Because it you. takes a lot to put on any kind of an event. I don't care what it is. Well, uh, we we're blessed. We've got a lot of good help this year, you know. Well, that is. Lord. That is the key to it is lots of volunteers. Right, Connie? Absolutely. You can't do it without volunteers. <laughs> You're exactly right. And an awesome board. And, and we're so thankful. Mindy uh, is just one of our new ones that we just... Got it. She is awesome, so we're glad to have her. Good. They always tell you that many people. <laughs> then they probably the work on. on. <laughs> then they probably hey, work no, on. No, no, no. We're going to sing the praise. Because I'm, I'm serious. My board is great. They're all jumping in there and helping and, and working and walking and yeah. baking. <laughs> and <doing all> those <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. I appreciate both of you for being with us. And um, we hope this event, and what is the date again on that? It's May the 4th, from uh, 10 in the morning to Not 9 at night. Too far away. Bring you a chair so you can sit out on the lawn and, and listen to the music. And, and then on the square and would be all around the square and would be. Yep. And there'll be so. plenty of things to do for young and old, so from any well, age group. That's right. If you want to sing, they're probably, if you want to get up and hum a few bars, they probably <laughs> know. <laughs> you, you. you can sing whatever you want to. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank ladies. you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Honey, we have. I know. I was looking at the schedule so for April, so and so things. for April, a lot of things that are going on for us. I know one of the other big events is coming on is Joe's Place is having a big block party around the square, and that is May. No, April. The thirteenth. That's in April. The thirteenth. April. April the thirteenth. So that is just days away. And it is. And that is another uh, event that uh, music, bluegrass, and uh, an oldies band, and uh, just other games and things for the kids that will be going on around the square. I think they're blocking off a couple of streets for this event. I, now, what I heard was Tatum Street, which is, runs right in front of Joe's. Mm -hmm. But I think they're also going to use the square for that. This is the first one of these that they have uh, are attempting. They're hoping that they can do this every year, but um, the, like I say, from five to seven, they're going to have bluegrass music, and then from uh, eight to 10, because it will be from about four until yeah. uh, 10 that night that this will happen. They're also gonna have tournaments, and they're gonna have checker tournaments and cornhole tournaments, and they even kind of encourage dancing in the street if you would like to. <laughs> hey, I think that could happen. I definitely think that can happen. And I know that coming up also in April, we have the FFA alumni ham breakfast and plant sale. Are the plants ready? They say yes. They say yes. So that that is always a big event. That comes up on April the 20th. And for folks that are out there, this is the best time to go out, have a good breakfast, uh, shop through the greenhouses there at the high school. Uh, those kids have worked on those probably all winter. Oh, they have Leading beautiful out. plants. They beautiful. have ferns. Ferns you can take home. Uh, great gifts to get started for the spring. And uh, this is one of their big fundraisers for the programs that they do there at the high school. And so uh, breakfast is in the cafeteria at the high school. And then, of course, the uh, plant sale will be at the greenhouse. And Which is right around the corner. Right around the corner. Great morning to spend uh, on April the 20th. Uh, and I think a lot of folks will enjoy that. Too. I do, too. So, I, I, well, it tells Always, if and I always get in a hurry to. If it gets a little warm, I want baskets of flowers hanging out so they can. Well, it freeze. makes it feel like spring. <laughs> <laughs> you can encourage the well, economy. Well, that happen too. You can encourage the economy by going out and buying the flowers. Or twice. take them back down to the greenhouse and leave them in there a week or so and say these are mine. I'll be back. But um, no, it is a, it is a fundraiser for the ag department because they use the money they raise from that in this same program for the next year. So um, 
it's a learning process for the kids, uh, for the students, and they do a great job with it. They really I think do. So. I think it's one of those great events. Do we want to touch on this before we go to our next guest? Yes. Uh, we have some exciting... Well, we have to be very careful how we don't tell you about this. Okay, um, so you do this without telling. I want the time, how long it takes before you say the name. No, now we, I've thought about this very carefully. Okay, tell me. Except I got their news release and they weren't being too um, secretive about it, but I was told that I, I wasn't supposed to make a big thing out of this. But. Monday, April 15th, the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band uh, will be in concert at the Art Center and they are having with them a special guest. Hmm. Now this is in conjunction with a gallery opening uh, that is uh, the opening of Choctaw Gardens, which is photographs by Hilda Stewart. The key word here is Stewart. <laughs> Um, think <laughs> she has um, she is the mother of country music star um, Marty Stewart and his pictures because I think her photographs are mostly of her family and a lot of them are Marty when he was young but then like I told you the mafia jug band is going to have a special guest because they will be performing that night at 7:30. There's only going to be 250 tickets sold. So if you're interested in going and seeing the Jug Band and their special, special guest, guest, then you need to uh, call down there and get your tickets because they They'll will go, go fast. fast. Very fast. And also the um, Blue Porch will be open prior to this concert and, and uh, ceremony for Hilda Stewart. So uh, you might um, go in and eat. You never know who you'll see in there. You don't know who you have dinner with that night. It may exactly be a special right. night to have dinner with guests. Uh, but this is on April the 15th, right. you know, tax day. You get that behind you. Come have a nice night out uh, with dinner and uh, uh, come by there early for the Blue Porch and then go by and see the Jug Band. I think you're going to be well entertained for the evening. Lots of pictures and photographs and Paparazzi might even be there too. So, uh, but 250 tickets, that's all there is. 250 tickets. So, be one of those people that gets one of those tickets to get in. And of course, you can always contact the Arts Center at 615 563 Arts uh, 2787. And I know that they're excited about that event, and that's coming up pretty quick. They are. Well, we do have a special guest with us. We do. We have another special guest. We, we love uh, our special guest. We too. do. We have Megan Flippin. And you are the president and the CEO of United Way, Rebel Fruit and Cannon County, right? That is correct, as of about three months ago. Uh -huh. And how's that working for you? <laughs> so far, so good. I haven't had really time to stop and think about it, though. So I'm going to go with that it's been going really well so far. It's been a great opportunity and just jumped in head first. And it's been a great three months so far. I'm excited. And this is in the middle of kind of getting ready for the upcoming year and campaigns and things, so... That's correct. Luckily, we had just wrapped up the major fundraising period when I took over this position, so we have that behind us for the most part. But the flip side of that is that we are preparing for the upcoming community investment process, which is going on right now, which I know that you're very well aware of, um, and will be taking place through June, so... We are in the process of working with the many different partners and agencies that we have and the volunteers that we have to be able to allocate the funds that we raised during the fall appropriately to programs in Rutherford and Keenan counties. And for folks out there, if you've, you know, you've always said, oh, what's the United Way, how do they do that? There is a, a, a detailed process and, you know, and I am part of that because, um, we do receive United Way funds here at the Kenan County Senior Center, and um, it's been an eye-opening experience for us on our end because one of the things that I've always been very proud of is being a partner with United Way. When I first came here back 11 years ago, going, I know, a long time ago. A mere child. A mere child. Uh, going through the file cabinets, I found, like, my husband's name in this file cabinet. It was listed United Way uh, donors. <laughs> 
And I'm sitting there thinking about that, and I'm looking at that, and I noticed, you know, where he worked, and he worked through Nissan, uh, but it was like years, years listed of where he had given through work to United Way, and then it had actually come to the senior center. And I was even noticing, like, the year my first child was born, it was a little bit less than <laughs> And I, he probably, you know, probably mentioned to me or didn't even think about the connection that it would end up working out that I actually work here now and it's part of my job. But it's one of the ways that everybody's little bit of something put together with somebody else's little bit of something makes a big difference. I think the thing that people don't realize is you can work in Murfreesboro, which most of our workforce does, mm -hmm. but you can allocate an amount of your salary and even, and if you live in Cannock County, you can allocate and specify that that go to Cannock County. That's Am correct. I wrong? On That's that? absolutely correct. And we so even have I family think members. Don't realize that. We even have family members that are here at our center that they have, they live in Washington D.C. or New York or somewhere. And even when they do their campaigns there, they can literally write on there to any 501c3, and they, you know, it's kind of their job to make sure that it gets to the appropriate place. And I know that's a big part of what y'all try to do is get out there and make those connections. Yes. To get yes, into those absolutely. companies and businesses to uh, encourage those folks and tell the story. Absolutely. And, you know, we work, as I mentioned, throughout the fall time period with those many different companies in Rutherford and Cannon Counties um, to try to go in on behalf of the agencies and say, here's the programs and the work that they're doing in the community. We hope that you'll invest through United Way into the process that we have in place with the volunteer system, you know, really let those volunteers take the time to work with the agency, review their application, what makes the most sense to find at what level, let them take that accountability on their shoulders and do that. Um, we do honor, as you mentioned, designations to um, Cannon County or Rutherford County, um, but really to any 501c3 organization. Um, we do go ahead and confirm that they have the 501c3 status as part of our accountability measures at United Way, and there's some paperwork involved there, but really it doesn't have to be a United Way member agency, but the caveat is, is the process that we have involved where the volunteers can truly help that agency be sure that they're being the most efficient with the funds that they receive from United Way. And so you just think about that these are volunteers that work at different jobs, banks, and different things. They volunteer their time. Mm -hmm. And they come out and they visit uh, each of those organizations that receive funds and, you know, pay a visit, you know, find out what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's a really good, uh, when folks look at it, uh, that's kind of the whole picture that they need to think about. Uh, those folks have been, I, co I consider it vetting. Mm -hmm. You've been out. <laughs> <laughs> You've checked to see the programs that they're doing, their paperwork and everything is in order, and um, they really do become partners, you know. And what are some of the other, besides the Senior Center, <laughs> yeah. what are some of the other Cannon County mm -hmm. 501 c 3 sure. that, that get funds from them? Um, the ones that have a formal partnership with us in addition to the Senior Center are the Cannon County 4-H. Um, extension and then Kenny County Save, which was just a guest on the show as well. Mm -hmm. We do have 23 organizations that are member agencies that serve Cannon and Rutherford, but those three are just specific to Cannon County. So you've got several ways. A lot of, when you just think about it, when you think about those 62% of our folks that leave Cannon County every day, they may have individuals or family members and other programs in Rutherford and Cannon. So. You're right. Yeah, it happens. But I mean, if you work for Pillsbury or Hermitage Farms or anything else, if they're involved in the <laughs> Publix, uh, you can designate your whatever you, and really they get to choose how much out of their, or it's mm -hmm. not a set amount. You get to choose how much you want to give. Absolutely. And it comes directly out of your mm -hmm. check before you ever get it. A huge percentage of the fundraising that we do and what United Way is typically known for is that payroll deduction. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to write a check for $500, but over the course of 12 months, you may be able to give a little bit, a little bit every two weeks to reach that level of giving by the end of the year. 
Um, we do have, of course, cash, check contributions, um, credit card contributions, but really the meat of our fundraising is that payroll deduction people process. Can. And people can choose a dollar. We have people that contribute a dollar a week or a dollar a pay period. We have people that do a hundred dollars. You know, it's, it's whatever they feel led to give. And this is tax deductible Absolutely. at the end of the year. And one of the things I consider it is and when we come in and do maybe a pitch to uh, an organization, I always try to reach on, okay, let's do that cup of coffee. You know, especially if you're going to the specialty cup of coffee, that's $3 <laughs> plus. You know, let's do one of those cup of coffees of the week we're going to do the United Way. And people sit there and they kind of think, well, yeah, I could do that. Or even if you go down to a, a cola, and I won't name a brand, but if you do a cola <laughs> and you say, I'm just going to do a cola, and which is right now up to $1.75, and you do that, uh, it really does make a difference. I mean, I think people get amazed that what that contribution can do. And... In a lot of the programs, whether, you know, I have my love for seniors, but there are children's organizations, there are funds that are out there helping families, uh, there are uh, all of our disadvantaged folks that uh, need help. Uh, there's a lot of different ways. If you have a passion for kids, there are organizations that serve kids. If you have a passion for babies, you know, there, there are organizations out there that help uh, newborn mothers and things like that and family members. So, I mean, wherever your heart lies, Mm -hmm. I think United Way has a lot of those folks uh, as their partners that they can help make sure that those funds get to the right places. Now, probably not when it comes to pets. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Pets are part of that, too. We were just You're having a discussion me. this morning <laughs> about a donor who had um, designated their contribution to uh, a, a pet welfare society. organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Then you have a that that is a legitimate 501c3 organization, but as long as they have that IRS status, they can be designated to. Well, I, that's amazing because I thought, you know, there may be a lot of people out there that they aren't crazy about kids, but they love animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> those are kids too, right? <laughs> they, those are children too. <laughs> yes, so they Megan, are. I know, I know uh, it's been a fast three months. Yes. And uh, we're, we're proud to have you aboard. Thank you. And um, I know you've been there for a while. How long have you have been there? You've been there several years before. Three and a half years, going on four in October. So, and I've been in um, three of our four departments in that time frame. So I feel like I've gotten a little bit of everything but accounting, and I'll leave that to, to our accounting folks. Must I'm okay that, with that's that. That's what makes that CEO thing awesome. <laughs> When you've done them all. You kind of get a feel for each area <laughs> of the organization and, and what is required to be successful there. One thing that I did um, want to share today that we are in the process of um, right now, you know, as we look forward to where how we can expand our efforts with Canyon County, um, we are moving forward with creating a position that will be focused on the Canyon County area um, come this spring or summer. And we're in the process of finalizing an office space here in Canyon County that that person will have. I can't share that yet because it's not official. I, I, I have another <laughs> one. I'm like yeah, so that's going to be a secret for right now. Um, <laughs> but it, hopefully it will come to fruition and um, we'll be able to have an individual who will have responsibility for working with the Canyon County agencies, the companies that we do business with here, so that we can have a focus area in Canyon County. I think that'll be a very good thing. I think a lot of my folks in Canyon County so <laughs> I do too. be very open to that. So we wish you all the luck, though. Thank you. Yes, it's, it. it's, and it's, we it's, appreciate everything that United Way does. I don't think people really realize all that they do, but. Sure. Uh, if you keep coming on the show, then <laughs> maybe maybe over the course of a year we can, we can get there. <laughs> that will be great. But we do appreciate you coming. Thank you. And Thank you for having joining me. us. Well, that's all right. I didn't think he's going to make it. Today. It was a little bit late, and I thought, well, shoot, everybody had on here didn't show up. <laughs> well, no, we I'm always have plenty of activity. Two wheels in the parking lot, but I'm here. <laughs> coming around the corner. I know, I know how that feeling is. I think I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, thank you again, thank you. dear, and we'll have you on again, and we wish you luck, and we hope you feel the same way about this job at the end of this year that you feel right now. You're really energetic, I can tell. I plan on feeling that way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go. Uh, and it you. takes that. Well, I know that, uh, you know, when, with Megan here, we have a lot of connections with Murfreesboro. Well, we have a lot of connections with all the counties around us. 
you know, we, we did it really. Things. The we Upper really Cumberland do. is a great area, and of course, we just joined the tourism department up there. Um, the lady that is uh, part of that department, um, the tourism department for the Upper Cumberland, she's great. You know, she emails me all the time, and she wants to know about this and that and the other. And uh, she's been on. <coughs> she's been talking to me over the years about being a part of that. But I will tell you that she sets up at, they have a lot of um, uh, fairs and type of things like that where they set up and they, and she really is great with the tourism department of the entire Upper Cumberland, yeah. not just, I mean, She's she been, Ab I mean, County and I've run into Dyer her. is her name. I I've run into her, her at uh, the Southern Women's Show. Right. I've, I've been at a boat show before and she, you know, she's had it set up there. I, go, I know you, Ruth. <laughs> I run into you. But she is very good at yeah, what she, she does. does. So we're really, really pleased of all the work. And she has took a kind of a little special interest here lately on some of the things that we've got going on right. in Cannon yes. County. So, um, well, it's, we have you a know, lot going on. We're here. small and we do have a lot of things. And they may not, all of them may not interest everybody, but there's something that we have going on here that's going to interest you. <laughs> just, I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking, okay, okay, if you can go down the list and say you don't like bluegrass music, okay, you don't like gospel music, you don't like Odie's music, well, okay, there. Well, maybe you like uh, coming in for uh, the block party or you like art, and we've got that going on, and then you want to see a star. <laughs> you just wander in. Uh, we so got a few of those. And then, say those are not even, I like plants and I like gardening. Well, for you and then if all else fails we're gonna feed you <laughs> it doesn't matter what you come to we're gonna feed you <laughs> so I mean we've got a lot of those things going on and something that is I don't know how I don't know how long we've been doing this right here but uh, just recently I think this is I want to say the fifth year, but I, it may be the fourth. I, I think it's. The I'm trying to go year. back and see who's been. Remember who's been roasted, but we, the Adams Memorial Library, and we just had a wonderful uh, grand, oh, opening. grand opening of the uh, new edition down there, which is absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance to go by there and see that, I do encourage you to do that. Uh, but uh, the Adams Memorial Library roast is going on this year, and they are roasting Brother Herb also. That's right. He retired. He did. And, and so we're going to roast him. <laughs> now we're going to bring him up right here. We're going to roast him. We're uh, going to roast that, him. Now Herb has been in the community how many years, Connie? Uh, I would even... Uh, he told he me not to long time. I came here in the 70s. I so believe. he's been here a long time. Let's just say that. Let's not do numbers. <laughs> he might get me. Uh, but I will tell you, there are a lot, of, a lot of folks that are just chomping at the bit with stories that they want to tell on Brother Herb. And I think that, there, you know, even Miss Ann, I believe she's got a few that she might even share with folks. But there's a lot of folks coming in for this, and we encourage you to go out and uh, if, if Brother buy a Herb, ticket. buy a ticket, if he's ever touched your life, or if he's not, and you just, you've heard his name and want to learn more, maybe even the funny side to him. Um, Oh, okay. definitely go. I'm definitely, it's going to be a, a really fun event to do. Fifth year, we believe. Uh, uh, and I would say that they still have tickets. I know there were still tickets available. And you get a meal. The Cannon County High School, they have a great meal. I don't know who's catering it this year, but every year it's good. And then, like I say, the entertainment's worth it. And I will tell you that just about every year I've attended it, uh, there has been, they have been, it's been a packed house every year. Last year was Arna Smithson, yes. and it was so funny, but Arna was the funniest one at roasting himself. I mean, he was the one he that had was a, so I funny. mean, you just think of all those years of, of, of owning a store. Oh, and yeah, the store, yeah. That you would have from that. So, again, I think there's going to be a lot of people that will be able to uh, tell those stories. on Just dealing with the public. <laughs> You can be in You can write story. a book. Yeah, yeah. good. You can definitely write a book yes, on that. Yes, you could. But uh, so put that one down on your calendar. If you want more information about that, I'm sure you can call Carolyn, and uh, she will make sure you're in touch with the right folks. I sure will. What a, we're not even finished with April. No, and May is a full agenda. Yeah. Uh, we Every have weekend. the first 
cruising on the square will be Saturday, April 27th. It'll be from 4 until 7.30 around the square. Uh, we welcome all trucks, cars, motorcycles. There's no fee to come to this. There's no entry fee. Um, this year, they're planning some new things as far as their, what they're going to do is we have had a 32-inch flat screen TV donated, brand new one, and drivers will be provided an entry each time they attend and participate in a cruise-in. It'll be one entry per car per cruise-in. Uh, they will give this away in October at the Toy Drive Cruise-In, and you have to be present to win. If your name is drawn, you've got to be there. But, you know, this is a great thing. We have some people that come to every one of them. Now, in September, there won't be a cruise in because our car show is on that date, the Color Fall Car Show. And that's a different scenario. There won't be, um, <coughs> excuse me, you won't be able to uh, register for the TV during the car show because that's, a that's, a, that's right, it, it is. is. So that's not but part this of the But everybody a great opportunity if you've got a rat rod or you've been working anything, in a vehicle, anything like that, bring it uh, to the cruise in, uh, come in, put your name in. A 32-inch flat screen TV, I think that's a very good price for the, encourage those folks to get their vehicles out. And then they're going to do a Cruiser of the Month award. Ooh, Cruiser uh, of the Month. Right, so you... That month so how do you, you win the Cruiser of the Month? You I have no idea. Out? They just told me that they were going to give one, and I said, okay. <laughs> there but, should be know, some rules. Have we got some music, rules. door prizes. I'm sure there'll be a selection committee. That should be. Uh, we are going to meet again next week to be able to, or this Saturday, actually, and kind of uh, fine-tune everything. There'll be a 50-50 drawing and, of course, trivia contests, which are always big. Now, if you need information on this, you need a flyer. I've had a lot of contact about this, and the number one advertising tool is the Tennessee Magazine. It is. And it's very vague what they put in there, but it just kind of sparks your interest. interest well, in we, we use the Tennessee Magazine uh, quite a bit, and uh, it really does help because really it's just kind of laying out the weekends that there's things to do. Right. Uh, and some, some of those things you don't pay for, you can just go and do. Right. And that's it's what this is one point. of those events. You don't have to buy anything if you no. want to on a 50-50, but you come in and it's something free to do with the family. And those kids absolutely love going around and ooing and on. When I say kids, I'm talking about all the men that are ooing and on. <laughs> Any, anywhere from 25 to 75 or 80. <laughs> all, Looking those at those, kids. all those young kids. So uh, I definitely think that that's something that you might be interested in coming out and, yeah, right. and, and taking part in. And we'll be having those, like I say, every month, the fourth Saturday. And I can't everybody. believe we've already got a horse show on the agenda. Oh, listen, I didn't even get all the horse shows on there. Uh, yes, on the 27th also will be the National Spotted Saddle Horse Association and the Auburn Town Beta Club, which is, this is one of their fundraisers for their beta club. And uh, they're going to hold a spotted saddle horse show at the horse arena at the fairgrounds in Woodbury. And you can contact Dorinda Mankin about these because this isn't the only one. There's several that she has planned out through the year. But her uh, cell phone number is 616-594-9301. And if you don't get these numbers, um, you may have to watch this show two or three times to get these numbers. If not, you can always call the chamber at 563-2222. Good. I mean, that just for a while wraps up April. We haven't even got into May. I'm just tired oh, already. We, got tired. <laughs> we, we haven't even got into May. And I'll have to say, that's our, our biggest month, but it's also become one of the biggest months for events around the square. It is. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got Farm Day down, uh, down on the farm uh, at the Pemberton Arena. That's coming up on May 10th. And I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit more next month when we come back on. We have the Spring Fling, which is a whole community of antiques and shops that are going in together to have the Spring Fling merchants. Uh, right, now most of these are the, the people around the square. And we have several antique malls. We have some new antique malls. We have jewelry stores. We have um, 
consignment shops, Leland's, everybody needs to visit Leland's. Uh, plus you have all these uh, little unique restaurants and they've all joined together and they are going to have uh, a spring fling and it'll be something in the order of what our Christmas. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I think that they're envisioning is it's on May 10th and 11th, so it's a Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is, folks can just come downtown and just go from shop to shop and- There'll be sales, they'll be giving away. I'm sure there'll be door prizes or something special. There'll be special events uh, that you'll be able to get in on, on, on May 3rd. Uh, is our uh, annual Cancer Society Relay for Life. Yeah. And that's at Dillon Park. And of course, that's where teams go in or individuals and uh, they have a survivor walk and they have special events and entertainment. And that's to raise, fun, raise money for cancer. And I don't think there's too many people that cancer hasn't touched their lives in one way or another. So. That's a very touching ceremony process when they do the luminaries around the track. And I think folks, uh, if you've never been to one of those uh, and you've had a loved one that has been affected by cancer, it is something that you, you very really emotional. do. It is a very emotional. And then you have your survivors, your folks that have survived cancer and uh, they're out there too. And we, we do encourage folks to participate in that whether they have a team that walks or a relay team. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of folks here in the community that's working on that right now. So Relay for Life, um, the Cancer Society. But they have a lot of fun too. <laughs> you know, after all of that, then they just get down down there. And they, you know, it's they, a fun they, evening. Yeah, it is. It's a very fun evening. I remember so. one time we had uh, karaoke in the hospital. People dressed up as entertainers and came down there and karaoke. I, would, I bet that was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was. <laughs> was definitely entertaining for yeah, that. It was event. great. And they you never know what you'll see. Yep. You never know what you'll you see. Don't. And then uh, if that's not enough, May 11th, uh, we have the Mule Show uh, and that is uh, sponsored by the Middle Tennessee Mule Association. And that is a one day Mule Show event. This is the biggest now I was told to tell you the biggest, this, the biggest <laughs> one day mule show in Southeast Tennessee. And it is presented by the Mule Skinners Association. It is at the Pemberton Covered Arena and the fairgrounds in Woodbury begins at 11 a.m. They have 51 classes, uh, which I imagine- I'm going, are, okay. <laughs> are there 51 different types of mules? mules? Well, donkeys aren't the same. They're got, they've got, I think, 10 or 12 I might need to go just so I can get some education here. Yeah. I said there would probably be wagons, probably wheel teams, probably, maybe those are some. You might we get need to ride go. on a wagon. Well, I, we need to go, Carolyn, and uh, get us I, some education I, I, on our mule. I, I want to tell you what, maybe not everybody's a fan of them, but every time we have something that we bring the mules out for in Cannon County, there's a line of people there waiting. I have never seen people get so excited about being pulled around anything on a wagon pulled by mules. It's like going to New York and you know, they have those fairy tales with the horses being drawn through the park. This is our version. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's our version. That's a good, That's a good story. One. That's a good one. So we uh, pull you down to Dillon Park or something. But 51 classes, so again, the biggest in the southeast area. And also they have great concessions at all, we go back to the food again. At every event we have, the concessions are great. Uh, the, the Lions Club Horse Show, I think that their concession area is about as famous as the one, they win a lot of awards for that one night uh, walking horse show. Well, uh, I believe that the Cannon County Walking Horse Junior Auxiliary will be doing the concessions for the uh, mule um, show and they, their specialties, they do a really good job with the concessions. So even if you don't like the mules and you won't come eat, that's probably a good place to come. It'll you'll be entertaining. Be, you'll be helping some youngsters too, so. But we get all the way up and then, you know, um, I'm already, we've been working now, I guess about six months on our Good Old Days events, and that is coming up on May 17th and 18th. Uh, we're talking two days, 13 pageants, parade, 5K run, outhouse competitions, we're talking about dog show, uh, 
music groups galore. Uh, it is just a time for the community to come together on the square. We've been putting this event on for the last several years, uh, but May is Older Americans Month. It is time to celebrate your seniors uh, around the world. And so uh, we put on the Good Old Days event and we're looking for a special time this year. Lots of volunteers. I, I'm thankful to our board to coming out and doing that. But for all of the folks out there listening, all the pageant forms, all the parade forms, they're all available, available at the Senior Center. You just come outside the front door and it's like Easter has just thrown the eggs <laughs> over the front of the building. There's purple and pink and yellow forms and blue forms. Uh, just make sure you get the right form for your different categories. Age or whatever. And you also need vendors, right? Or you we do. accept vendors. We accept yes. vendors for this event and it can be anything from food to craft to uh, different types of things. So uh, we definitely, we, we have uh, the army that's coming out with a big rock wall this year. I think that's going to be something fun that some of the kids can do free. They won't have Where to pay for that. that? Oh. Uh, it, it'll be on the back, back water side street of the square. So that'll be something the kids can do. Uh, again, we're going to have uh, some games. We're having some outdoor relay games. We're having a hillbilly lookalike contest. Well, that ought to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> we should be able to do that one really good. <laughs> so uh, we're having the hillbilly lookalike contest. We're having the Owl House decorating contest. Now, you can win $125 by decorating an Owl House, and the more creative you are, the better, uh, but there is a $125 prize, a $75 and $50, I believe, first, second, and third, and then we're also going to be doing a uh, uh, People Choice Award, so you can actually kind of vote for the one you the the one you like the best. Uh, so that's been, that's going to be some of the new things that we've got going. You got to build your own outhouse. You're not build your own outhouse. No, I'm not supplying anybody an outhouse. <laughs> I'm not going to steal. Don't be stealing outhouses either, please. They're still around. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't think that. I want to touch one of them. But, but they, they don't be doing that. I, I'm warning you not to be doing that. But we'll talk about more of Good Old Days coming up in May. But uh, we have another, of course, uh, cruise in that will be right. before They'll then. They'll be the fourth Saturday of every month. And so, yeah, you'll be running. And I want to talk again. just a little bit about something that the chamber is doing. Yes. And this is our first time, and, and we're excited about it. And I'm, I don't really know what to expect, but I'm hoping it will turn out well. But uh, we will be hosting the Rutherford County Chamber of Commerce uh, after hours event on May 14th. Uh, this will be at Cannonsburg in, in uh, Murfreesboro. Uh, there are several other businesses and organizations that are going with. Uh, what we want to do is we want to put Cannon County out there. We want a nice face. We want friendly. And we want to tell you, come on to Cannon County. We'll take your money. <laughs> we love for you to come here. No, we really do, and I think partnering, partnering and networking with your surrounding counties um, are so important. You know, everybody kind of, when you mention tourism and you mention Cannon County, I mean, we don't have any lakes or anything like that, but listen, we've got a ton of events, and Amazing. we've got specialty places. Um, I just sat up at the distillery, Earlier this month, when they had their first anniversary, I can't tell you uh, how many people were there, and they were from everywhere. I met people from Alabama, Virginia. There was one man there from Washington State, uh, as well as all the surrounding counties in Tennessee, Lebanon. They come in for all over. And that was another thing where the mules, they had three setups, and they were never empty. Those wagons were full. Of course, they, the distillery is on one of the prettiest farms in Cannon County. And uh, so it's great to just go up there and, and, uh, and the scenery is great. Yeah. Whether you're doing the Blue Porch had food and they were nonstop. And I gave away a bunch of stuff. But <laughs> well, the we biggest thing that it. about this event that we're doing on May 14th in Rutherford County is that getting the word out. Some folks go, well, what do you do as a chamber? Uh, what does the chamber do for me? Well, the chamber gets the, 
gets Cannon County out there, uh, you know, tells people of the different things that we do. And with the help from DTC uh, on our TV show, and we do this monthly, is for us to be able to have that opportunity to tell folks about the businesses, whether they're a chamber member or not. We do have, you know, we try to give preference to our chamber members and their organization, but we do have some organizations, and I don't know why they haven't joined yet. They need to, because these are some of the things we do, uh, great networking opportunities. When we go down to Rutherford County, they're telling us we're talking three to 400 people. And when you go and you can do what we've just done, tell them all the activities. Uh, or those show those them, folks, I will have it in writing. Yeah, those <laughs> folks are gonna to wanna to come here and they're gonna tell somebody and they're gonna to wanna to come here. And uh, that's that's what our job is. Well, the you know, the Readable Mill is a great, I mean, it's right there in Readable on the line. Um, a lot of people come from Murfreesboro to that. Uh, they come there to eat breakfast on Saturday morning, great place. You, you know, if you're taking a day trip and you wanted to just come in and see some beautiful scenery, go to several, there are several different areas in Cannon County that uh, you can go to and have a fun time. We have great restaurants. And you're right, we, when we bring people in, we don't tell them that you can only shop here and you can only eat there. Everybody benefits from it. Yeah. Whether, you know, they may not think they do, but they do because yeah. People buy gas, you know, this is all a benefit. So yes, we would love to have everybody as a member of the chamber and the chamber works hard. It's a board of people that volunteer their time and they work hard uh, to present Cannon County in a, in a good light, not a bad light. We want people to know that there are good things in this community and there's a lot of good people and you know, if you all work together, or if we all work together, you can do a lot more in numbers than you can do alone. Yeah, and I think we really do have a great board going on. We right do. Now. When we have meetings and everything, it is just bouncing ideas around the room. It so is. many sometimes you got to go. Whoa! I do. I go back to do the minutes, and I think, oh. <laughs> that was a that was a very I interactive. Who said that? <laughs> That's part of the thing, you know, when somebody says, well, what do you get from being a member of the Chamber of Commerce? You get the opportunity to network with folks. You get the opportunity to uh, do events like this. Uh, you get the opportunity to go out and meet different folks that can bring business to this community. Uh, that's, that's the key to what we, we do. We have started up the mixers again. Yes. We had those at one time. The last one we had. Now, to some other places, this may not seem like a lot, but this was a, a mixer from 7 till 8.30 in the morning. We had 47 people there. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, each, each time uh, a different business or whatever hosts it, and the hospital, Stone River Hospital hosted it, boy, they had a great meeting. Go back to the food. They had a, a it was great wonderful. breakfast. They really did. I had to Lots come back and do an exercise class, <laughs> and they had biscuit and chocolate gravy. And I had to break down and eat it because it was biscuit and chocolate gravy. And I said, well, I'm going to do this at this chamber mixer, and then I'm going to go back and exercise. And I an did. An extra hour. An extra hour. <laughs> For that, but it was great food. But we did. We, you know, you get to meet the the CEO of the hospital was there. You were able to uh, sit down with some of the physical therapists that were there. Those folks are caring for our people in Cannon County That's and right. surrounding areas. And so, where does the well, where does had, the person get to do that? That's you a, had other be. businesses that hadn't met other businesses. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and so the key to that is to go sit with somebody you don't know. That's how you learn. <laughs> I think that's a great mixer. <laughs> that is. That, that is, is. When, you, when you can say that you did that, you went and you met a business, a person that you didn't know before you went, that's that's 100% we did at the mixer what we were planning to do. And, and it's funny, you sit here and say, well, Cannon County Small, everybody should know everybody. You don't. And so. And um, you have businesses that come and go. We have three, three new ones on the square that are not from here. Uh, they've come in. I believe MacMinnville was probably their origin, but uh, that's fine. You know, they set up businesses, and if you want antiques, we got them. We do, and I will tell you, uh, two weeks ago, my husband and I were like, we're not leaving Cannon County. 
We're going to spend the day in Cannon County because we go anywhere else, we spend money. Well, we ended up spending money here too, but we came to the square. I was looking for a piece of furniture to uh, put a TV on, and uh, I found one at one antique shop, then I went around to the other and found another one. So it kind of got into competition between the three. We had lunch down at the gathering place. Uh, you know, we spent the entire day. Now, we ended up at Paul Reed's, and I bought something that I wasn't even after. <laughs> I know Paul was excited, but bought, you know, something there. And so we well, that's ended up spending the whole day in Cannon County and enjoying ourselves. Uh, we sat out on the river and had lunch. Oh, at the gathering at places the gathering at the old Feed Store Antique Mall, and um, she's open on Fridays and Saturdays right now. And, uh, it's great. Yeah, you know, food was it's, good. Yeah, food it was is excellent. So. I, I ate there the day she opened it. Connie, we're out of time. I know, lots of things. Uh, we will be back next month, hopefully. And we want to invite you to attend as many of these as you can. And all of them, you'll have a good time. And like I say, there's food at all of them. So if you're a big food person, hey, we got it right here. Uh, one other thing that was just brought to my attention, and I think this is great, the Cannon County Historical Society is very active in Cannon County, and we had a man that walked the Trail of, of Tears uh, some years back, uh, Ron Cooper, and he is an American Indian, and he walked 800 and some miles, I believe, uh, and took the same route as the Trail of Tears. And he will be at our library on Friday, um, April 12th at 7 p.m. and he will have book signings and he will also talk to you about, I bet that was a very interesting trip. To I can't walk imagine. That. Uh, we, were just, we were just in Alabama and some of the area that down that way, there was the Trail of Tears and we were even made a couple of comments uh, on that. And so I definitely think that that'll be something interesting. Yeah. We got it all. We got to go on them. And we're going to let you go back to whatever you're doing because I know you want to go get a snack. So we're going to sign off right now and we'll see you next month. Thank you, DTC.